The Giants were taking on the Seahawks, and as many thought this would be a good, close game, there was a man who slipped under the radar. The legend, Michael Dixon. Now, Michael might as well have been the boogeyman for the Giants, as he locked them in a coffin deep in the minus side of the field, and then let the Hounds feast on the corpse of Daniel Jones all game long. It starts with his most mild mannered punt, only 47 yards, but enough hang time that Gray can't find how he's supposed to get under it, so he drifts into a peaceful oblivion, dropping the ball and actually getting benched because of his inability to field this punt. Next, he comes back out and blasts one. 52 yards with over 5.3 seconds of hang to a new returner who was back there long enough to write a letter to his mom begging for forgiveness if he were to, to also drop this. Luckily, he fields it, but now he's given his team 86 yards to go if they want to score, and Michael Dixon has just put the fear of God into him because as he lines up for his next punt, the returner's so scared that when he hits just an average little 44-yard punt, the returner is cowering five yards away from where the ball is even landing, not wanting to do anything to incur the wrath of Michael. As that ball rolls and rolls down to the two yard line, forcing Danny Dimes to play out of the back of his own end zone. And his last punt, another beaut. You'd think he was kicking the epitome of the Black Plague, the way that the returners don't even want to get near these punts. As it once again takes another beautiful bounce to the 13. Meaning, on average, if the Giants wanted to score, they would have to drive 84 yards per kick attempt from Michael Dixon, which, when it's hard to even get a pass off, just shows you how much a punter dictates the pace of the game around him. 